Hi guys, welcome back to the 401 Files. If you are new here, my name is Ben. I create content here on the 401 Files with everything that you could possibly consider to be thought provoking. So this covers the UK wild man, Bigfoot, extraterrestrials, new UFOs, and even the paranormal. If you wanna head back through some of my older videos to get a better idea of what it is that I do here, you'll see that I spend a lot of my time on the North Yorkshire Moors here in the UK, following up on people's claims and reported sightings. A lot of those include the UK Wildman and extraterrestrials and UFOs. So if you're interested in those kind of explore videos where I go into these creepy places to talk about these phenomena, then that's what I do here on the channel. But right now we're in lockdown and I'm experimenting with new pieces of video and new layouts and formats of, of doing things. And so today's video is gonna be a bit of a, an experiment for me. It's the first time I've done this. This is a reaction video of a piece of UFO footage that I recently stumbled across that I think you guys would really enjoy. So the very first half of this video is going to be the footage as I found it, from start to finish in its entirety of this piece of UFO footage. Um, and then the second part of the video, if you stick around to the end, will be me giving my reaction, my review, and hopefully breaking it down and share a few of my thoughts and theories as what as to what was going through my mind when I first saw it, and maybe make you guys see it in a different light as well. Um, I'm a huge believer in the UFO phenomena. I'm a huge believer that Earth has been visited by extraterrestrials. So please don't ever think if I debunk something or if I give some kind of negative feedback on a piece of footage that I'm just um, a debunker because I'm definitely not. I'm all for the UFO and extraterrestrial phenomena, but we have to take these with a logical mindset. So stick around to the end, guys, if you do want to hear what I've got to say, but enjoy this piece of footage. I'm sure you all will. What the fuck? What is that? Okay, so my first impressions looking at this right now off the bat is that there is no point of reference. I don't see any trees, I don't see any buildings. And so whenever we have a piece of footage where there's no reference or surrounding objects to measure size, it's really difficult to tell what we're looking at. Now, please don't take that the wrong way. This could still be something very strange and this could be something life-changing for the guy that actually viewed this thing in real life. It could even be flown by some other being from another planet. Who really knows at this point? This doesn't fit the typical UFO sighting that we um, are usually familiar with, i.e. the Tic Tac or the disc-shaped craft. This is more like a blob, which is something that I'm not familiar with seeing when it comes to UFO pieces of footage. But it also looks kind of like it's alive to me. It has some kind of organic feel to this thing. But I don't want to start speculating because, like I said, this could easily be anything. Um, this could just be some guy that's emptied a piece of glow stick onto a very black cloth. We don't know. But there again, it could be some guy with um, his, his little camera aimed up at the sky filming something very strange. The intensity of, the, of this colour as well is very similar to glow stick or creatures that you would see down in the deep ocean. The shape isn't changing and I can't hear any noise from the, uh, the video's audio that we're listening to right now so yeah it is strange it's weird and by the true definition of the word UFO I guess that's what this is but again with no point of reference no trees no buildings it's very difficult to determine what this is or where it is in terms of 3D space. Is this on somebody's carpet in a dark room? They've spilled a bit of glow stick. Is it in the night sky um, being piloted by extraterrestrials? We'll never really know with pieces of footage like this, but like I said, I know that a lot of you guys do enjoy watching stuff like this, and it's only right that I put these things out there. If they've been captured, people are claiming the UFOs, I'm not here to be the judge. What I will say is that um, many people have reported over the years seeing these luminescent green craft and if they are luminescent green craft, a lot of craft or UFO craft shining down green lasers or having some kind of a green light associated to them. So for whatever reason um, it may be, green seems to be the colour of choice for extraterrestrials and the UFO craft. 
but it also is the color of choice for comets that are burning up certain minerals as they enter the Earth's atmosphere as well. So we've got to bear that in mind. But green is reported, it's a color that's reported time and time again in association with UFOs. And it was also depicted really well on um, the front cover of the hit series Project Blue Book as well. So that was something that they noted in their, um, their cover app. So I'm actually doing a video as well at some point um, dedicated just to all these green craft and green lights that are associated with UFOs because that would be quite fascinating to see when they're all compiled together just how many different shapes and sizes these things come in um, but that's it guys I thought I'd share this piece of footage with you like I said it came here from the UK I'm not sure exactly where in the UK um, this is a piece of amateur footage as you can all see hopefully you enjoyed that there'll be plenty more to come drop down in the comments box below because I'm assuming that many of you will have seen these green luminescent craft elsewhere a lot of you are into the ufo phenomena as i am and um, chances are you've probably seen multiple ones of these before whether in real life or on the internet as well somewhere else so drop down in the comments box below guys let me know what you think what you think it might have been was it extraterrestrial or was this man-made or someone just trying to pull a hoax pull the wool over our eyes we don't really know at this point but i'd be interested to know what you guys think so please do drop down in the comments box below and if you are interested in helping the 401 files out there's many ways you can do that now you can join there's a button on the home page there that says join and there's different tiers that you can donate to the 401 fans you can consider becoming a patreon where you subscribe every month and get behind the scenes footage things like that um and you can also just subscribe give me a thumbs up and comment on all my videos that i post in the future but please click the bell icon as well because that will ensure that you guys get to see all future content that i release in the future so you guys have been awesome, like I said. Take it easy, look after yourselves, and I will see you again very shortly back on the next one.